Hi, my name is Tiffany Domina, and today I want to do a review for you of the Thrive Themes membership. If you've been looking for a way to make your website look nice and have features like the countdown timers or landing pages, or um, you're looking to make digital products, or um, you want to have a free course to give away, or you want to build your email list, it's likely you may have come across Thrive Themes. Um, there's lots of different options out there like click funnels and lead pages and so I really want to um, show you the pros and cons of Thrive Themes because it is a great um, membership and it is a great set of tools um, but there are some drawbacks to it so um, I want to tell you what it is, how it works, pros and cons, what it does well, what it doesn't, what others are saying my recommendation and then give you a tour inside of the membership area and other things that I think um, would be beneficial to you if you're considering the Thrive Themes, Thrive Themes membership. So um, I have a full post here on how to entrepreneur on Thrive Themes and the membership so if you wanted to you can stop by and take a look just to make sure and see the details that I've written there. Um, but basically, Thrive Themes was started by Shane Millaw and Paul McCarthy, and they were both, uh, Shane was more into marketing, Paul was more into the tech side, and they both had separate uh, entrepreneurial ventures before, but um, they both felt like they had a, a, um, a weak area. And so they met online and decided to meet live. And then they decided to go into um, different ventures together and ended up making Thrive Themes together. So it was founded in 2013. And since then it's grown. They've added a lot more tools and more features and things that members get. So um, included in the Thrive Themes membership is these themes, the Rise, Story, Press of, Performag, Voice, Square, Looks, Ignition, Minus, and Focus blog, and they are working on um, adding more themes into the membership. Um, they also have um, plugins, and the plugins enable you to split test headlines on pages and posts, create courses on your website, organize your comments, add countdown timers, create landing pages, animate text and images, create quizzes and boost engagement on your website, capture leads using ribbons, widgets, slide-ins, pop-ups, and screen fillers, create different widgets for different pages or posts, and it's a lot of other different features. Um, Thrive Apprentice, uh, you can use that to create um, courses. Um, so they have a lot of different features here. Um, to get started with Thrive Themes, you um, you go to their website and they have uh, basically like videos that can show you the features and they have demos and things like that. Then you would choose whether you want to be a part of their quarterly or their annual plan and then you just um, check out. Thrive Themes is best for, um, for agencies who manage client sites and they know their uh, clients want like animation or um, they want different aesthetic features. Um, they want more conversion focused features because Thrive Themes has a lot of split testing options. They have um, um, lots of different uh, ways to capture leads and convert them into buyers. So Thrive Themes has a lot of special features that uh, help with boosting the engagement of your um, customers. So if you are an entrepreneur and you want to boost the sales on your website, then you probably should definitely take a look at Thrive Themes. Um, companies who have a website but want to increase conversion rates, um, Thrive is like that's what they specialize in. So you can take a look at them. Um, internet marketers who want to teach others how to get more sales online and internet marketers who want to get more sales online themselves. So in addition to uh, the Thrive Themes plugins and the and the actual WordPress themes, Thrive Themes also has Thrive University, 
and I think it's really under spoken of because the Thrive University by itself is a huge value with the courses that they make and um, the things that they teach. There's a lot of um, different companies out there that are charging high ticket prices for courses that teach you on um, these conversion focused practices. So the Thrive University is a huge um, a huge benefit by itself. I'll show you more about that as when we do the tour. Also, Thrive Themes has um, a support, a ticket system. So that can be a pro or a con. If you prefer to get on the phone with somebody or um, if you prefer to, to do like tickets by email or something like that, then you may not like the um, ticket system. But we have this basic like a forum and information about it, adding like your WordPress password and things like that. But basically they have a forum and then their tech people will go to their site if needed and make tweaks and changes to help um, um, to evaluate what problems you're having and to help fix the problem. So um, for me, I've used the ticket system before and usually um, it can be a one day turnaround or even more if your time uh, zone is, is conflicting with theirs. So if that's a problem for you, then um, the Thrive membership may not work for you. Um, so what Thrive Themes does well is they're very affordably priced and very competitively priced. So when you compare um, what they offer, when, when you think about the landing pages and being able to um, create a full funnel online, um, the the features that they offer in comparison to companies like click funnels or lead pages um, or even the countdown timers there's different companies that offer that feature um, and so a lot of the features that they offer within the thrive package are very uh, competitively priced and a huge value um, click funnels is $99 a month and I think uh, lead pages is very close in price to that but when you get Thrive Themes, it's, it's, uh, um, it's like two twenty eight for the whole year. So in comparison, it's like a huge value. And you get themes. You also get um, you get the the uh, plugins, which help you build your email list. You can get a huge return on investment from it. And if you think about it, a lot of companies who charge for courses, uh, the digital courses are costing more than. Uh, the 230 per year um, a lot of the digital courses cost like a hundred dollars or more per course um, on the low side then the high side you get uh, one course that might cost you fifteen thousand ten thousand dollars um, so when you look at the courses and I'll show you more in the tour when you look at the courses and how in-depth and thorough and high quality they are inside of the Thrive membership is definitely a high, high value. Um, their support is responsive. Anytime I put in a support ticket, they actually do log on to my website and they'll continue to coordinate with me until the problem is solved. I haven't had any problem with that. The, the, uh, the problem is mostly to do with um, how long the lapse of time that it takes to get the support response because uh, for me a lot of times I've noticed that um, they respond like in the hours when I'm sleeping so I think they might be on a different time zone um, than me in Central Standard Time so a lot of times when they respond then I won't find out until the following morning and when I respond then it's a lag time so um, but as far as the quality of the products that they have, um, I think that it's definitely something you want to weigh out. Um, and the tools that they give you and the uh, how they how accurate they are with split testing and how helpful they are with helping you determine what uh, is working on your website and creating engagement with the users there. Um, I think that the tools, they, they do a very good job of um, helping you to measure your conversion rates and helping you to um, see which headlines are performing better or which um, landing pages are performing better. And that's a huge benefit. Um, 
the things that they don't do well is they don't offer like phone support or email support for those who would prefer that. They don't offer a shopping cart, so you have to integrate um, your courses or um, anything that you want to sell with something else. Um, they don't offer a membership solution, so if you decide you want to sell your courses inside of a membership program, then you'd have to get a different uh, something else in addition to um, Thrive Themes. Uh, you have to get like a membership plugin or something like that in addition to Thrive Themes. Um, they don't offer refunds on membership renewals. So, like for example, when they uh, when you sign up for the for the Thrive membership, is an annual um, or quarterly membership. And if you forget to cancel the membership before they withdraw the funds, um, then you you won't be able to get the refund for that. They do um, send you billing notices, and I think they send it to you more than one time before they withdraw the funds. So it's not like a surprise in comparison to other companies who um, you'll have a membership with them and then they withdraw the money and you didn't even realize that you had that membership anymore. Thrive Themes isn't like that. They do send out um, a notice to you to let you know that your membership is um, your membership fee is about to be taken out on a specific day. Um, so they do let you know the payment is going to be drafted. But if you forget, you still forget even after being notified and they take the money and you decide you want you want a refund, um, they don't have a refund process for that. Um, and the other con is that um, a lot of people have said that they slowed down their sites, and I can actually show you proof of that on my own sites. That um, some of the some of the the things that you do with the tools, because they have um, like you know Thrive Architect, and they have um, the the um, the Thrive Leads and different things, and you can use these tools to add features onto your site. But if you use like shared hosting or um, even VPS, um, sometimes the the additional uh, features that you add onto your site can take a lot of storage space and then slow down your site. Um, so you may have to either upgrade your hosting, um, you may also have to play around with your images and resize the images and things like that that you might not have thought of. And um, when you <clears throat> also when you add the animation and features like that, um, it can be like conflicts with JavaScript and conflicts with other plugins and things like that that you might have to take into consideration. Um, <clears throat> so some people have noticed that it may significantly slow down their websites. Um, I have seen people who are able to navigate their ways around that, but for some people who don't want to get into all the tech and um, having to play around with image resizing and uh, all that stuff, then the slow, slowing down of their website might be overwhelming and trying to navigate their way around that might be overwhelming as well. Another thing is they don't offer a free trial. So in comparison to other companies like ClickFunnels or like Lead Pages who offer a free trial, so you get to like try before you buy, um, Thrive Themes doesn't offer anything like that. Um, they do have lots of demos so you can see what the um how the products work and things like that but there is no free trial their plugins you take them you install them on your site and so that's part of the reason because you actually um it's not going on rented land like with click funnels or with lead pages um you you're using um software and you create basically like a, a website on rented land um, you can buy a domain and redirect to a click funnel or something like that but um, you're not self hosting the funnel and um, whereas with um, thrive themes you self host your own funnels um, so you know you you have more control of um, of the content of the management and everything for the funnel um, 
So I want to show you good and bad reviews of Thrive Themes so that you can see what other people are saying and what their experiences are like. Um, my personal experience I've had, um, I use Thrive Themes actively. Um, I don't use the um, WordPress portion. I use different plugins on, on some sites and my sites that have more content, um, I have found the problem of the low speed and things like that. So um, I don't use the, the WordPress themes on my site for that reason um, on my high content sites. But on the sites that don't have much content, um, they can make the site look really nice and have a lot of nice features. So <clears throat> for like when you just Google Thrive Themes reviews, you'll see what looks like this. Um, there's a lot of people who advocate for Thrive Themes and say that they um, the tools strongly help them in their business, help them to grow their email list and things like that. For me personally, I've, I can say the same thing. Thrive Leads is an amazing tool um, to help grow your email list. <clears throat> um, also to convert customers um, for affiliate offers or even uh, digital products that you have, you can create pop-ups and all kinds of things um, slide-ins, scroll mats, um, ribbons. So there's a lot of things you can create and add on to your website that um, that would help with conversions and sales. Um, <clears throat> so, and then you can see the common positive feedback that I found when going to read these because I did actually take time and read what other people were saying about Thrive Themes so that I didn't just have my own perspective, but I could share with you um, what other people were saying about it. Um, and from a general consensus, what the common feedback is, is that the sites with Thrive Themes look very nice. Um, and if you go and look at people who use Thrive Themes on their sites, they are really nice sites. A lot of them are like top of the line. Um, they're very professional looking, um, they're very aesthetically nice. Um, <clears throat> when I've designed sites for customers using Thrive Themes, they're, they're usually very happy with it because the site looks very nice. Um, and some people are like, I use all of the Thrive plugins in my business. And so, um, and some people call it a business in a box because really, um, you can set up your website and add on the courses and add on um, the opt-in features and all of these things that are highly scalable and can make your business go from, you know, um, from, from to different levels of revenue is what I'm trying to say. Um, <clears throat> And a lot of the people who start to use Thrive go on to use it for years and years. So um, that's another nice thing. From my personal experience, also I've seen um, other people who they decide to go um, and use other other tools to get their landing pages or um, and they spend a lot more money. So if you want a high value tool, um, a high ROI tool, then I would say that Thrive Themes is definitely a good option, something you should look into. Um, so the negative feedback is that their themes and plugins do slow down sites because you're adding in more features, you're adding in um, more content, basically that needs more storage. Um, so if you're expecting to use Thrive Themes on share hosting, then you probably will have to play around with the features a lot. You may not be able to add on all of the animation and the, the um, you may not be able to add on all the engagement features um, with share hosting and still be able to maintain high speeds and things like that. You would just have to play around with it quite a bit. Um, so 
the added bandwidth and uh, the added storage that you might need with your hosting um, might require you to upgrade. Um, yeah, so there's no way to do uh, another negative feedback is that there's no ne there's no way to do site wide layout updates. So if you decide to use the Thrive Architect or um, site wide, it can be tedious to edit each page and post. And I'll show you more of what is what that means um, when I do a walkthrough. And then there's no free option. It's a common negative feedback. The support response times are slow. And then um, some people just prefer picking up the phone and placing a support ticket instead of um, instead of having to do the form. So those are the, the pros and cons that people are saying commonly. Here goes um, a positive review from Lewis Parrott at Authority Hacker. Um, if you haven't seen Authority Hacker, I have a full review on them here on howtoentrepreneur.org. Um, and if you're looking to build an authority site, then they have a great program that you can check out. Um, so, um, that what Lewis Parrott said is it's still very early days for Thrive Architect, but there's no denying it's already a strong contender in the WordPress page builder market. The power of this page builder can only be strengthened by its ability to seamlessly and effortlessly communicate with other Thrive products, and that's something its competitors are currently unable to compete with. And um, if you're serious about building profitable websites, Thrive Seats Suite contains some of the best products in the business for helping you achieve that. And of course, your page builder is a crucial component of how these tools interact. Despite some features on my wish list not making it to the release version, a few inevitable bugs, and some subtle UI inefficiencies, I genuinely can't wait to see how this develops over the coming months. All in all, I highly recommend giving Thrive Architect a try. So, um, for Thrive Architect, um, what they mentioned in their review was how all of the plugins integrate really well. Um, with, when you go with other companies for your page builder and then another company for, say, your landing pages and then another company for your pop-ups and things like that, then a lot of times you can have glitches when you try to make them cohesively respond together on your site. And that together can even slow down your site but um so that's one other nice thing about the thrive suite is that all of the plugins integrate together and they're constantly doing updates and um they do take into consideration the features that customers want and they've been adding and improving over the years so a lot of uh, members can attest to seeing the evolution of Thrive themes. Um, so the most helpful negative Thrive themes membership review is um, by Adam at WP Crafter. He creates a lot of videos on page builders and on um, different WordPress hacks. And um, so what he said is while many developer hours went into Thrive Architect, there are still some things that are a bit overly complicated where there are setting panels on top of setting panels also thrive architect is lacking global save sections which is a huge time saver when building full websites so i can explain exactly what he's talking about in his negative review um, overall he still recommends thrive architect but um, that is one of the major cons is that um, there are some glitches just like any other software there's some drawbacks and some positive things. Um, the global save sections, I'll, I'll show you exactly what they're talking about because both the positive and the, and the negative review um, that I placed on here ha say the same thing. And then for the price, um, Thrive membership is $19 a month. And uh, for the agency, if you want to be able to use the plugins and themes on 50 of your sites of your client sites then you would pay um, $49 a month 
um, they have it where you, even though it says $19 a month, it's kind of confusing the way that they have the pricing on here because actually you have to pay either quarterly or annually. Um, but it breaks down, if you do the math, it breaks down to $19 a month or $49 a month for an agency membership. Okay, so, um, and then I have some alternatives as well. Uh, for me personally, on my, on How to Entrepreneur, I use the Studio Press themes, and the reason is because the Thrive themes will really negatively affect my speed, and that's important for, um, for me is to have, and it's important to Google, because it's harder for you to get page rankings. Um, it's harder for you to get rankings in the search engines when your speed is slow. People will just bounce from your site if it takes too long to load. So um, that's something you definitely want to keep into consideration. So let's go and take a look at um, two sites that I have with Thrive Themes on it. You can see how, um, how they work and how um, nice you can make the sites look. So this is one of my sites. Um, it's called moneygrowmom.com. And as you can see, like the buttons are animated and um, you can add in um, different features like these grow and um, you can add in your, um, your blog so that it, it looks more like a tile instead of um, looking um, where how most blogs look where the the um, blog roll is chronological going downward like that um, you can also add in different filters so I can place my blog here and this is just the review post and then I have here I can place the latest post here so um, that's also nice how you can lay out your page and your posts and then as you can see you can add in different buttons and features like that so um, let's slow going so you can kind of see actually actually i'll go back and i'll show you how it how the uh how the panel looks when you edit with Thrive. Okay, so when you go in to edit with Thrive, there's all of these different features that you can use. This, like you see this is a button and you see you can change the colors you can change the sizes of the button um, you can uh, direct it to any location you can add in links you can change the fonts um, you can animate change the scroll behavior I mean add in different shadows there's so many things you can do and then um, if you want to add in things, you can add in paragraphs, headings, buttons, images, columns, um, click to tweet. So people use Thrive Themes. I can add in a map, um, a fill counter, divider. Um, I mean, you can just take a look and see all of the different things you can add in. Pricing tape, a guarantee box. And then they have different landing page settings and they also have landing page templates so um, like this here is considered a, a landing page and I can change around how it looks um, you can use their proven templates that they've already proven that they convert well instead of having to um, build one from scratch and you can pretty much also with Thrive, you can take a look at um, a landing page that is already working for a larger company. 
and you can kind of um, create your own version of it because it gives you so much freedom with how you can customize your pages. Um, I have the same thing here on tiffanydomino.com. You can see all of the animation that you can add in. Now, I probably went a little overboard, but um, you can see the different animations that you can add in. You can add in the maps. Um, and so gives you a lot of different options is basically what I'm saying. But if you look at GT metrics and you look at how the page speed is for both of the sites that I have Thrive on, the page speed is um, showing at a D. And you can see um, TiffanyDomino.com page speed is, is not good. And so it's not all Thrive's fault. Like some of the things that it says, um, like I can serve, I can optimize the images, but some of it is more because of the different animation and things that I've done with the Thrive um, tool. And so I could go in and play around with it and, and uh, take out some animation or um, just play around with it a bit to see how to get the score up. Um, but as you can see, how that might be a little tedious because um, I would have I can turn this off and then go back and test um, with GT metrics and see if that helped to improve the page speed. And you would just you would have to keep doing tweaks like that um, to work with it. Another thing I can do is I could upgrade my hosting and see if that would help with the page speed. But to be honest, I'm really happy with um, my hosting package that I currently have. So I would just prefer to um, switch the theme out than to switch the hosting or, or, or um, yeah. So, but you can see with howtoentrepreneur.org that I did switch out the theme is not using Thrive themes and as a result of that I was able to get my page speed um, much higher but before when I had Thrive themes on it um, my load speed was like 15 seconds and my page speed was really bad and so I had to play around and, and try out different themes and see what would work and before I did that I actually try optimizing the images and um, trying to see if that would help and none of that did it. Um, I optimized the images. I played around with, um, you know, changing the image sizes and things like that. And it, it was just a really tedious process, very time consuming. And then all in all, I just decided um, by when I switched to Studio Press and added the Studio Press theme, it just immediately improve the page speed like without doing anything else so I would say that's definitely a con that you have to weigh out if you are considering Thrive themes because they do have beautiful themes very nice features um, and I still use some of the plugins on Hot Entrepreneur but um, as far as using Thrive Architect the page builder I don't use that one on all of the sites because of the effect on the, the speed but as you can see um, this is when you're logged on to the Thrive Themes dashboard this is what it looks like um, right now they have it where you just download the Thrive product manager uh, plugin onto your site so it's one plugin instead of having to download all of them separately and then you would keep that updated you you take it over to your website and um, well, let me just explain so you take it over to your website you go to your plugins and then you um, install it and once you do that then they have a, um, a code that you would use and to activate the plugin um, so if you're interested in knowing how Thrive Things works or how to 
um, make your site look nice, then leave that in the comments below and then I can go more into how to create a website or how to um, make it look nice using Thrive Themes, more into web design basically. But um, in this video, I'm just doing a review, just letting you know how it works and things like that and what the pros and cons are. So if you're considering buying it, you can see um, what the benefits would be. So this is what happens when you log on. You can see on the plugin, it gives you a video of how to use it. And they have a lot of nice um, demos for all of the plugins. So even though you, you download it as one, um, inside of the Thrive control panel, it um, they look separate. So you'll see Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Architect, Thrive Comments. You'll see the different um, the different things inside of your WordPress login. Okay, and so this is where um, you can find a lot of different discussion from the Thrive members about the plugins. Um, you can also put in a ticket. They have a knowledge base. They have webinars that they do to show you um, different things you can do to improve conversions on your website and how to use the tools to, to improve the conversions on your website. So the webinars can be really inf uh, give you a lot of information. And then if you look at uh, Thrive University, um, this by itself is worth the annual membership. Um, they have so much quality information here that even if you don't use the tools and you decide to use a, nif a different tool to apply these same engagement or conversion features onto your website, you still could get a lot of value out of taking these Thrive University courses. So like course craft, um, so a lot of people who are doing business online, they'll teach you the method of different ways to monetize your business. And one of the ways that is really common to monetize your business is through digital products or information products. So as you can see, um, Thrive, Thrive University has quite a few pages on helping you to either sell affiliate products, sell physical products, sell digital products, just helping you to um, set up your funnel so you can sell whatever it is. Um, so they have this on digital courses. Um, that's a premium course. They have um, how to build an information product empire um, that you actually own. So that's one of the benefits of going with Thrive versus going with ClickFunnels is that you actually will own your information product empire. Um, and also Teachable is another option that many people are using to build their, um, to run their information product business. But with Thrive, um, it's just a greater value. So they have courses that teach you how to, how to do it. Um, they have landing page builders, uh, you can, or a course on rapid landing page building. They have the opt-in form clinic, um, building a targeted list, SEO, um, product launches. You know, they teach you how to use MailChimp. They teach you how to use different email marketing software. Um, the Thrive Quiz Builder, um, how to integrate quizzes for segmentation or for engagement, um, how to make more sales without needing more traffic. That one was huge. I, I took, I've taken a lot of these courses and they've all been very, very valuable. Um, landing page copywriting. So as you can see, landing page from scratch, how to get more comments. Um, and how to use comments to read your visitors' minds, how to use quizzes, how to create an opt-in. Um, so, like, just take a look. And you can see that 
there's lots of courses here and this by itself is worth more than 228 for sure um so yeah the support if you ha if you do need to put in a support ticket um then this is where you would do it um and then i also um they have they have a blog that has a lot of useful information there as well so as you can see you can kind of see what thrive themes is like how helpful it can be. Um, you can see the pros and cons. Hopefully I've illustrated that well here. Um, if you want to consider Thrive Themes, definitely, um, definitely take a look. If you're looking for ways to convert more uh, people on your website, then definitely take a look at Thrive Themes. Um, it is, I definitely recommend them. And if you want more help with starting or growing an online business, then stop by hotentrepreneur.org. Um, I have this area here where you can get free training on websites. I partner with Wealthy Affiliate where um, you get 10 free training lessons and you get uh, two free websites on a .site Rubik subdomain. And I also have this free course here where you can start or grow a business that gives you information on how to start um, and how to scale it. So that's all I have for this video. If it was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like videos like this or you like thorough reviews like this, um, then consider subscribing to this channel. I add more reviews on products and services to help entrepreneurs to grow from idea to enterprise and i also um add in I'll, I'll be adding in more videos on different things um that can help you overall to reach your peak potential that's my main goal is to help you to really live out your life purpose and to help you reach peak peak potential so if you're interested in that then consider subscribing to this channel um, and stop by my website, hotentrepreneur.org. And that's all I have for you. So have a blessed day. Bye.